What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom button in Blender and bring it into Clo 3D to make your garments look a whole lot better. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is create your button. So uh, you can do anything for this process, but once you're finished with designing the button, you're going to need to place it in a certain place. So you can either just leave the button as is, or you can add a little notch. So what I'm going to do is use the curve tool to create a little section. Um, so let's go circle you're just going to rotate this by 90 degrees leave it as is bring it in from here we can scale in the middle here like so and we pretty much are good to go from here we're going to go down to our data section go into our geometry and add some depth so we have a rounded piece um, and then from there we're going to bring it down a little bit maybe scale it in a tad bit so you can either have your button like this or you can remove this depends what the look you're going for is um, but i'm going to keep it as is let's bring this slightly to the center a little bit and reset origin to 3d cursor uh, and this is going to be the section that essentially attaches to our um, zipper so from here we can convert this to a mesh so convert to mesh right click and say convert to mesh uh, we can join these by pressing ctrl j and just like that we now have our section now the key for this part is to make sure that your origin is in the area of where you want it to be attached to the zipper so i'm going to bring this down slightly like so right click set origin to 3d cursor and from here we're pretty much good to go now you can obviously change this material or do whatever you want um, but the one thing you must note is when you do take it into Clo 3d that you lose all your material properties and any images that you do have so i'm going to export this now make sure it is selected we're going to go file export obj and export it to anywhere you want so i'm just going to call this zipper puller final make sure selected only is on you can go export and now we're going to open up clo 3d so in clo 3d i already have just a basic setup going i'm going to hide this over here just so you can see a little bit better once you have your zipper in place you're going to right click on the puller on the right side here we're going to go into our property editor under top there is a shape for shape we're going to click on this little add button and this is going to register an obj this is going to be the pillar that we're going to add in so for type we're going to select pillar and uh, we're going to custom call it triangle puller for scale i'm going to do centimeters and then in your obj area here we can go click on these little four dots to open up our file explorer and we're going to look for the zipper puller final open that up and you'll immediately see that it's now added the zipper in here from there we can hit ok it'll register as a zipper and just like that you are good to go so you'll notice here that there is a little bit of confusion so that would just mean that we need to create more of a joint over here in blender but for now we can just click on the zipper puller and bring it down a little bit like so and then it works as any zipper would so if we go out of our simulation settings and drag this down you'll see that it works as any zipper would and then when we hit simulate we're good to go now as i said you do lose your material properties which is the only thing that really does suck out of the situation um, but what we can do is when we're happy with how everything looks so i'm just going to go back a few steps um, I'm going to export this. So we're going to go into our UV editor and we're just going to reposition this so that everything is in the box. Scale it down a bit. So from here, we're going to go file, export, OBJ, call this zipper render and hit save. Make sure our export settings are as is and hit OK. We can then reopen Blender, hide this. We can go file, import, OBJ, import that in go to our front view just bring that down a bit and just like that we have imported it now to add our detailing back in really simple we're going to go to our uv open this in photoshop or photopia whatever you have it can be any other program as well and the same uv that we originally had placed on the zipper we're going to place back on here so let's drag and drop that in we're going to look for our our zipper which is at the bottom here we're going to rotate it and hit ok we can then file save this as a PSD and then we're going to go back into Blender, go into our shader editor. In our materials panel on the right here, you'll see that we have zipper side and front. So we can actually go to our remove material slot here and just, just add these all together like so. So we have one material and then we're going to use one UV. So from here, we can bring the space color up, go into our image texture, open, open our file explorer, go to our desktop and add this PSD document 
And you'll see just like that, we now have the zipper updated. So this is essentially how you can create a custom button. It is quite a process, but I do find this the best result, um, especially if you want to customize stuff in Blender and then bring it into Clo. Maybe you want to render it in Clo if it doesn't have any like logos or anything. The other option that there is, is you can simply import your Clo file into Blender, delete the zip puller, and then replace it with a new one. Uh, that is another result, but I find you get better results uh, like this from projects that I've worked on. So I hope this video did help you guys out. If it did, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and sub. Appreciate the support as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.